Rats and Tats, Rats and Tats, it is time for Rats and Tats. Yay, quick disclaimer, this isn't actually a tat video. Um, I just really like that jingle. Today we, and by we I mean Oric and Pancakes. Pancakes, where are you mate? Right, Oric, this is a Gallagher arcade machine. Now Gallagher was one of the more popular arcades um, back in the uh, late 80s. It's basically a game where you just get a bit shooty and you just go mental basically. You go absolutely mad, like it's mental. Can I interest you in a cheerio buddy? Yes, ooh, ooh. Right, so without further ado, let's get this thing open. Pancakes, are you coming out or what? I've got Cheerios. Instruction manual. That's always interesting, isn't it? I, I suppose. Is that interesting? Do you guys want to see that? All right, buddies, yes. Come on. Stars of the show. People love seeing you guys. Here we go. Instruction manual. Exciting. Exciting times. Right, so Gallagher isn't a particularly hard game to play, so I can't imagine this is going to be uh, especially in-depth. Um, but these arcade machines are specifically made to be a, as close as possible replica um, in a tiny scale. This is all just the same page, so I don't even know why I'm showing it to you. Look at these instructions, Pancakes. You're not Pancakes, you're Oric. Don't sneeze on it! Charging cable, because it is charged by USB power. And a USB micro. That's not interesting, I don't know why I showed you that. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, mate. Oric. Oric. Mate. Yeah, yeah you, you're totally in the way, mate. Pancakes, check it out. What do you think? What do you think, Pancakes? Look at this. Look at how cute it is. As I said, adorably, this is a pretty much exact replica of the original Gallagher arcade cabinet, which was um, issued in the 80s. Now, um, what the uh, company who makes this does is they actually get hold of an actual arcade cabinet and then they take all the measurements and they, they do the art and everything from an actual arcade cabinet. And I was talking to the, um, the CEO of Numskull a couple of months ago and he was saying how sometimes it's really, really hard to get hold of the actual proper cabinets because there's quite a lot of these that are going to be in this line. This is the second one, I think, that's been released and there's quite a few more. Look at this, Oric. Look at how pressy this is. Don't sneeze on it! Got these little um, 25 cent stickers as well, so you can put you can put your tiny coins in it, Oric. Tiny coins! Right, let's have a look. Mmm. Mmm. So arty. So, so arty. I reckon all of you are going to agree that pulling the plastic off something like this is the best part of any purchase. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, that was amazing, wasn't it, Oric? Oric. What I really love about these is that they even have the original text that's that was on the arcade machines. Even though it's now tiny, I can't read it at all. Can you read that for me, Oric? No, all right. As with all of the other games in this series, all of the ROMs are originally sourced as well. I mean, they really are very dedicated to creating a tiny version of the original machines, and it is very sweet because it allows you to actually play an original arcade experience while also having it on your shelf. Oh, go oh God, Oric, no. No, 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 come on, mate, come on. Off, off, off the cabinet, good boy. Turns on at the back, like this. Here we go. Whoa, look at that! Look at that! Right, here we go. It is working. It's absolutely fine. I just needed to leave it for longer than the uh, 30 seconds I left it on charge, thinking that that would work. Okay, here we are looking at how lovely it is. All right! Please forgive the uh, awkward filming style. I'm going to try and play it from an angle. Ooh, name NN. I don't know who that. Is. Who are the, who are all these people on the high score list? What's going on there? F from the angle on the camera, you can see the reflection of the light coming from these grills on the underside of this. Now, this vent here is absolutely one hundred percent faithful to the actual original arcade cabinet, so that's why that's here. What do you reckon, Oric? Oric, stop getting in it. Look, just look at it. Don't have a go on it, mate. Hmm? Not bothered. Okay. Okay. So, get off the arcade machine, Oracle. All right, check, check out what happens when you pop a, a supposed coin in. Look, look. Does the little coin noise. It does the original coin. Oh, oh. Listen to that, Oric. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> that, 
that great thing that I pointed out earlier, that's actually where the speaker is for the music, for the sound. <laughs> it's probably like a tiny, just a, so small. Yeah, this, this is the kind of content you can expect from me really, isn't it? Just pointing out how small things are. Let's, let's go. Whoa! Oh god! Oh! Oh dear! Okay. Oh, that noise! The noise of the lads getting shot! Oh, that's fantastic. Oh! Stop! Stop it! You stop that! You little flappy bastard! You desk! You absolute stack of desks! Now, the graphics are... They're really cute because they're, um... They are a sort of scaled version of the original arcade. So you do kind of feel like a giant. Like you're just this massive person in an arcade. Wow. Oh, oh dear! I'm good. I'm good. I'm good to go, mate. What else have you got? Oh, you you absolute stack of desks in a warehouse. I'm not having that. Right, come on. Let's go again. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. I was pressing the wrong button. Right. Oh, that noise that that um the red butterfly makes when you shoot the light. Oh, oh no! Get wrecked, love. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, love. I'm not having that. What's wrong with these lads anyway? What's the story? You know what? What they're so miffed about? Oh, you you absolute handle on a cup. Get wrecked. No, 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 love. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. That's not the game we're playing tonight, sunshine. Well, not the Oryx run off. Oh, but Oryx and Pancakes have just thought, right, I'm not dealing with this. Get... Okay. It's not easy to play this at an angle, but also I'm just a really bad player of arcade games because I'm so impatient and angry all the time when I play a game. Oh, you... Absolute stack of cups with handles in a cupboard. Oh, get wrecked! I wasn't even ready. Oh, you know what? You can you can get lost. You can you can literally get lost to the point that you need to use Google Maps. That's how lost you can get. This is great. This is really lovely. Um, I actually think I prefer this more to the Pac-Man one because I'm I mean I prefer the gameplay style anyway of Gallagher, but. The sounds are just so nice, they're so crunchy in the right way, and it's just mini and lovely, and this lights up, and oh, it's, it's just really lovely, um, really, really nice. Uh, there are other ones in the series, but I think this one's probably my favourite out of all of them that are out at the moment. Auric, what do you reckon, mate? Auric? Okay, um, I, th I think he kind of likes it. I mean, he hasn't tried to nibble it or destroy it, I don't know if that means that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, there is a link in the description if you want to buy one of these for yourself or as a little gift for a, a friend or a lover. This is a very, very sensual gift to give a lover. Like, so, so sensual. Alright, that was another episode of Rats and Tat. Thank you very, very much for joining and I love you guys. And Auric, well, he, he, he loves you in his own ratty way. Do you, buddy. Bye.